The deaf community in one Florida town has an ally this morning in their local police department. As Kaplan Cindy Claros reports, the officers recently held a first ever town hall to improve their ability to protect and serve. After hours of conversation, Ocala police address improvements for communication between the deaf and hard hearing community and officers in a first ever town hall. The outreach was organized by the department and hands up communication. And these are important issues that they brought up. You know, how do we interact with our police department? How do we remain safe while helping to keep your police officers safe? Uh, how do we act at a, at a traffic scene during a traffic stop, a traffic crash? Uh, these are all important topics that all of us should be aware of. One resident, Ellen Faulkner, says she was prepared in traffic stop by obtaining an indicator on her driver's license that stated she is deaf. I'm deaf, that I am deaf. So when he came back, he gave me my driver's license, my insurance, and my registration. And then he gestured for him, me to slow down, and he mouthed very carefully and slowly, have a nice day. And so obviously he figured out that I was deaf from my driver's license. But many say that's not always the case. George Blythe says his daughter, who was deaf, was pulled over in Gainesville and in one instance had trouble. And I rolled the window down and tried to explain, officer, she's deaf. She cannot hear anything you're saying. And he didn't hear it. He, he wouldn't even listen to me. He said, passenger, you shut up. I'm talking to the driver. And I kept saying, she doesn't hear you. Officials went over protocol for being pulled over and how officers may identify those who are deaf. Chief Falcon say they aim to host another town hall this year.